All right, so we're continuing on in this little series of uh, showing some builds from the past few years that I really enjoyed, and I'm kind of going through them chronologically. So this is the next one up, and this is a banjo I made for John Reister. Now, John Reister has played a, a big role in kind of my personal banjo history and story. Uh, he was my first real banjo instructor in, uh, in old-time music, and um, we made a trade. Me as an uh, artist and woodworker, I could make him something that uh, he didn't have access to, and him as a banjo player, phenomenal one, had information that I wanted. And so we made a trade. And so I made him this banjo um, for lessons on how to play the banjo. So he's actually one of my first real kind of teachers and taught me a lot of the songs that I still play today. Um, so this one is has a special place in my heart. It's a fretless, obviously, uh, banjo. It has a brass fingerboard up to the seventh fret. And it has this nice S curve here that goes from the fifth fret, the middle string is the sixth, and that's the seventh, so it acts as a you know, series of fret markers. It has a rich light fingerboard here, um, and a rich light headstock with a inlaid rose in it, which we'll talk about in a second. And um, it has brass hardware, so it has uh, all the standard kind of hooks. And um, yeah, so we'll walk down the, the back side of this and show you some of the inlay on it. So here we are kind of pulled in close. You can see he's been playing this for a few years now. So the brass is starting to age nicely. And um, it has a bloodwood nut. And there's the inlaid rose at the headstock. You can see it there. Uh, his daughter's name is Rose. And they were just having her at the time. Um, she was about to be born when I made this, and so he thought in honor of her in a nice way, he'd, he'd want the rose in the headstock. So I thought that'd be a nice touch to add in there. Um, the other kind of rose touch is there. I actually put it into the bridge. See if I can get that. There you go. So he has her name in his bridge. I thought that was kind of clever. So it's a uh, bloodwood and maple bridge. Um, it has a locust and cherry pot. You see it in there? Turn over so you can read it. Um, has my name and his name for who it's made for. Uh, I made these nice little details where there's a, actually a brass kind of collet or collar to hold the, uh, the pieces in place there. And then in the heel, it has my little logo. And the heel is also locust and cherry with a cherry neck. Um, once again, it has a rich light fingerboard. Let's see if it'll focus here. Uh, rich light fingerboard with the brass uh, top seven frets. So, uh, fun Ashbourne style pot. Um, well, that's what he asked for though, which was what was nice was he wanted a um, a Vega style neck because he had a Vega that he plays regularly and he loves the style of it and, and the the acquaintance of it and how it feels and so he wanted to have a Vega neck on a larger Ashbourne style pot. And he said that banjo doesn't exist. And so uh, we made it. So uh, that's the John Reister fretless brass banjo. So let's give you a little sound sample.
So this fella kind of packs a punch. It's meant to be loud. Um, that's how John likes it. So that's the uh, John Reister fretless.